What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video. And you can read them for yourselves, or you can just listen to this video where I'm probably just going to read it to you. I just want to say also that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine. We just keep getting shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. All right. So now that we got the business out of the way, why don't we go ahead and get started? All right, you guys. Ian McGregor has joined Anne Hathaway in this movie by David Robert Mitchell. Now, if you remember, I think I did a story on this. Can't remember off the top of my head because I've done so many, but I'm like 99% sure I did a story on this. And I, if I did, I'll leave it in the iCard section. But Anne Hathaway was given, um, you know, a special, um, I can't remember what it's called, but like a reprieve to during the strike to do this movie like she was able to to sign on to this movie and they were able to start filming like they got a special a special little thing well it looks like Ewan McGregor I uh is on uh, gonna be in this movie also because he was casting it so why don't we read this story also from Deadline I use Deadline a lot you guys Deadline is my favorite the, the reason I like Deadline a lot is just because they they mix like the entertainment stories with the business of entertainment stories and the business the business articles are well a lot of people find them boring probably but I I personally, I just find them fascinating. I'm like, ooh, look at this. Okay. So it says, <clears throat> Uma McGregor joins Anne Hathaway in David Robert Mitchell's new film for Warner Brothers, Bad Robot. I don't think the movie is called Bad Robot. I think the Bad Robot, like J.J. Uh, Abrams' Bad Robot, but I think it says it in here. We'll see. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Uh, Uma McGregor, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ugh, that show sucked. Has signed on to star opposite Anne Hathaway in Warner Brothers Motion Picture Group's currently untitled new film from David Robert Mitchell, the filmmaker behind the titles of It Follows and Under the Silver Lake. I didn't see Under the Silver Lake, but I did see It Follows, and I love that movie. That movie's so good. They keep talking about doing a, like a sequel, and I hope they don't, because that movie is just perfect by itself. Anyways. Pick's long line is under wraps, though it's uh, it's log line is like, you know, like, um, you know, uh, like Spider-Man with great power comes great responsibility. That would be the log line would be underneath that or, or you know, you know, uh, Ian McGregor fights Anne Hathaway in a one on one street fight to save the world. And you're like, OK, great. Anyways. OK. Um, as described as a thrill ride to be shot in IMAX. Yay. Um, I love how they always say that to be shot in IMAX like we give a shit. Mitchell will direct from his own original script and produce alongside J.J. Abrams and Hannah McKella for Bad Robot. Now, I just want to say right now, I'm already not interested. Anything that has Bad Robot in it and J.J. Abrams, I immediately go, ah, pfft, not interested because uh, J.J. Uh, Abrams is a hack and I hate him. So uh, it's probably going to be bad, but we'll see. I'll have to see a trailer to tell you my, my absolute thoughts. Anyways. And Jackson Pictures, Matt Jackson, da 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 da. Good for you, Matt Jackson. Nobody cares. So it says, recently reprising his role as Jedi Master Obi Wan Kenobi in Disney Plus's Emmy nominated limited series of the same name. It was shit, pure shit. I'll leave an I card in the I card section my uh, reviews of those. That show was pure trash. Uh, McGregor won an Emmy. For his starring turn in Netflix and Halston, very good, by the way. Go watch Halston. That was good. I liked that a lot. Also appearing in the films like Birds of Prey, Crab, Dr. Sleep. I actually like Dr. Sleep. And Christopher Robin. Oh, I love Christopher Robin. Oh, so good and charming. He will soon be in the Showtime Paramount Global miniseries, A Gentleman in Moscow. Why are they telling us all this? Is it because they don't know what the movie's about? Okay, so yeah, so they don't know what the movie's about. So what do I think of this? First things first, I think Ewan McGregor, good for him. I don't really care for Ewan McGregor that much, but at the same time, I'm not like, I'm not a hater. Like, I watched something that he's in because he's a good actor. And that Halston show that he was in, very good. I liked it a lot. But, like I said, and Anne Hathaway, she's a good actress, but in real life, she's a fucking weirdo. Oh, my. Have you ever seen her when she, when the paparazzi get her or, or people, like, film her? She gets out of a car and she's all like, um, I don't have time to stand next to you guys and take a picture. So, I'm just going to stand right here and you guys can take all your pictures and get out of the way. And then I'm going to go inside. And I'm all like, honey, uh, it's a good thing I'm not there. Because I just be like, you're a bitch and everything. She's a fucking weirdo. Um, 
So yeah. Anyways, so uh, so so Ewan McGregor, good for him, good for Anne Hathaway. Even though she's a good actress and she's a fucking weirdo, I make all that money, honey. You know, make that ride that money train to the bank. That's what I would do. And um, I'll definitely look out for this and see what it's going to be about and everything. Um, you know, maybe they're doing like a dinosaur movie or some shit. I don't know. Who knows? But uh, let's see where this goes. And But uh, my biggest, uh, you know, concern is the J.J. Abrams thing and the bad robot. Anything to do with that. If they're just financing and they're not doing anything with like the writing or the directing or anything like that, um, I'm fine with it. Then, it. then it'll be fine. But if they have any sort of artistic, you know, you know, they get the fingers in the pie or they, they start cooking in the kitchen, I will have a problem because then then I just go, ooh, your project's screwed. Your project is screwed so hard and not in the way you want it, baby. Tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you guys feel about Uma McGregor joining uh, Anne Hathaway in this movie from Robert or David Robert Mitchell? You know, is this something that excites you? Uh, you know, if you heard about what the movie is about, tell me what it is, because I didn't. I didn't, and I'm not gonna go searching for it. I just, uh, I'll wait for a trailer or more news or whatnot. I'm just, gonna, I'm not gonna go, not gonna go sleuthing for it and everything. But uh, how do you feel about that? Are you a fan of Hugh McGregor? Are you a fan of Anne Hathaway? Are you like me? I'm like, I, I like Hugh McGregor and Anne Hathaway's actors. I don't really know Hugh McGregor. I don't know. He cheated on his wife, so I don't really like that at all. But uh, and Anne Hathaway, like I said before, she's a big fucking weirdo. So I just I'm like, I'll just, I'll watch. I'll watch a Devil Wears Prada too, but I'm not interested in uh, watching her give interviews because she's just crazy weird and everything. And tell me what you guys think about all of this. You can go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you're my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week. You guys have a good week. Bye.